Ahoy there, mateys. It is I, Blackheart, Scourge of the Seven Seas. I'm just playing. It's actually Jiggy Seth. And we're going to have another fun match with Blackheart here. This time he's wearing the white coat. And we're going to head over to EpicGames.com in a bit. And we're going to learn a little bit about the Naruto crossover. A whole bunch of cool stuff. Quests, rewards, a new creative map, and some cool stuff in the item shop. Here's a little recap on Blackheart. The dreaded captain of the stormy seas. Now let's check out our quests and punch cards. Whole bunch of fun stuff. Let's look at the daily punch card. Keep in mind this match is from Sunday. I got two victory royales using Blackheart. I got a victory royale with Cuddle Team Leader on Monday. And yesterday, after I narrated the video for Blackheart. Yesterday's video for Blackheart, not this one. I got a victory royale with Ember, so look forward to all that good stuff coming your way on Jicky Seth's YouTube channel. Blackheart is a legendary outfit in Fortnite Battle Royale that can be unlocked by reaching Tier 1 of the Season 8 Battle Pass. Blackheart is part of the Scallywag set. And by the way, just below me there, you could find the Naruto character. I can't remember his name. I confess, I don't know anything about Naruto, except for the character Naruto. I know how to say it, because I studied Japanese way back in 2006 at the Beverly Hills Lingual Institute. That was good times. Studied Japanese for one year, made some really good friends there. I met this amazing guitarist, Andrew Heistan, who was in a band called L2D. They were phenomenal. So one of my quests here is to visit Dyer, the Dire Wolf. He can be found way down here at Camp Cod. I used to vacation at Cape Cod in Massachusetts. Too bad the Ghostbusters guy is no longer here. That was a Fort Nightmares event thing only. Here's Dyer, let's see what he has to say. Ah, you smell human. I smell like a pirate, bruh. Looks like I have to hunt a wolf. That's ironic. I'm standing in front of one right now. Can I hunt him? I wonder if you shoot Dyer here, if that counts towards that challenge. Probably not. Quest accepted. Alright, let's get to the juicy stuff here. We're going to head over to EpicGames.com. And this news was just dropped today. Earn Fortnite items completing the Nindo challenges. A Nindo, or Ninja Way, is a personal rule or promise to oneself that each shinobi lives by. In Naruto Shippuden, you will often hear Naruto Uzumaki state, I'm not gonna run away. I'm never gonna go back on my word. That's my Nindo, my ninja way. Naruto overcame great obstacles by following his Nindo. Now, we are presenting you with a series of challenges. Will you run away or will you channel Naruto's Nindo? and walk away with in-game rewards. I think I'm going to do that. Maybe even your own very own Kurama Glider, the great and powerful nine-tailed beast. That's right, my friends. On the fifth day of these challenges, they're giving away a loading screen and glider, the one you're seeing in the item shop right now. All right, we're going to head over here where the Ghostbuster car is. However, the Ghostbuster guy is no longer here. I can't remember his name. I like how when you hit it, it makes the noise. I also have this car in Rocket League. Speaking of Rocket League, Season 5 starts today. I'm going to do a Rocket Pass video tonight. I'll come up to it. If not, I'll just do it on the weekend. Alright, back to EpicGames.com and the Naruto Nindo event. Starting on November 17th, that's today. Until November 21st, which is Sunday, that works out great because I'm going out of town on Monday. Players have the opportunity to complete the Nindo challenges to earn in-game rewards. How to get started. Ready to walk the path of the ninja? Visit the Nindo website now and sign up by following the prompts to register with your Epic Games account. I did that this morning. Today's challenge is to get one elimination to get the Naruto emoticon. 
Now they're saying something about a benchmark of 35 eliminations. I don't know what that means. All you need is one elimination to get the emoticon. Maybe I'll have more on that later. Once signed up and logged in, you'll be presented with your first challenge. Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi will each challenge you during one of the event's four days. Successfully complete the daily challenges to earn in-game rewards. The Nindo Rewards. In the Naruto TV series, which I've never watched, Successfully completing missions for the village is always rewarded, and Fortnite's Nindo challenges are no different. Here is a look at the awesome rewards you could be calling. Naruto Fujimaki Emoticon, art by Studio Kelly. Sasuke Uchiha Emoticon, art by Studio Kelly. Sakura Haruno Emoticon, art by Studio Kelly. I want to have a big huge for the plan for this season event. Is that going to bring about the big gap? Could the Foundation be in there? Or some other hero? Maybe the Batman's in there? I don't know. It's probably a Fortnite character. The rewards don't stop here. Achieve the daily milestone to earn the Kurama Glider and the Shinobi Teamwork Loading Screen. Alright, so we just got the lowdown on the benchmarks. You have to hit those to earn the glider and the loading screen. So make sure to get 35 eliminations today, because that is today's benchmark. Or milestone, which I think is the I think I was calling it the benchmark. Same thing. Here is the Kurama glider that could take you flying down to a victory royale. A fearsome nine-tailed beast sealed inside Naruto Uzumaki. Here's the Shinobi Teamwork Loading Screen. I'm not going to use it because it's not going to be You're watching my incredible gameplay here in Black Ops. I'm just messing with it. I'm actually messing with it. If you miss a day of Nendo Challenges, you can do it again. The Ninja Squad always had more than you had. You have yours. Earn at least two points on day five to receive all of the Daily Challenge Emoticon rewards listed above that you have not yet earned. Check your progress and find out more anytime on the Nindo website. For full details and requirements, please read the official The Nindo Terms of Participation. Please note that the Kurama Glider is also available in the item shop for you to purchase if you want to get it tonight. I know some of you can't wait. Kyle wanted the whole bundle last night. I said, so you know what? You gotta do some grinding, son, and unlock those V-Bucks from your battle pass. We also have a Save the World account that you could also do grinding on and unlock V-Bucks. I digress. So this news dropped yesterday. I didn't have a chance to read it. Naruto X Fortnite is finally here. I never go back on my word. That's my Nindo, my ninja way. Naruto Uzumaki. Straight from the mind of Masashi Kishimoto, the much loved characters of the anime series Naruto Shippuden arrive in Fortnite. The wait is over. Naruto Uzumaki, the number one most unpredictable ninja, and Jean Churiki, host of the all powerful Nine Tailed Beast is ready. I hope I pronounced that right. Along with the rest of Team 7 to take you through to a Victory Royale. Actually don't need help with that. I think the Victory Royale is right and left here. Sasuke Uchiha. Experience with the impressive visual Jutsu of the Sharingan and one of the last surviving members of the Uchiha clan. Sakura Haruno. Do-eye for Sasuke. She has taken her fiery inner voice, deft control of chakra, and extreme strength to become one of the greatest kunoichi. Kakashi Hatake, known as the copy ninja for the deft skill in copying almost any jutsu he sees in the shinobi world using his second hand Sharingan. Always wanted to channel your inner ninja and play as a member of Team 7? How about dropping onto the island, 
on the back of Kudama, the nine-tailed beast. Well, now is your chance. Teleporting your way into the item shop are... Naruto Outfits. Naruto Uzumaki with 7th Hokage variant style. Believe it. Sasuke Uchiha with the snake sword pickaxe. My only goal is in the darkness. Sakura Haruno with Sakura Uchiha variant style. We have to be strong, you and me together. Kakashi Hatake with Black Ops Kakashi variant style. I'll protect you with my life, all of you. Too bad I was hoping to encounter Dr. Storm and take a west, but it looks like the storm is right there. Alright, we covered some serious ground there using the shockwave grenade launcher. Naruto Backbling. Akun Backbling. Kakashi's smallest meme can. Demon Wing Shuriken Backbling. A Shuriken with fearsome curved blades. Hidden Leaf Cloak Backbling. A warm cloak fit for going on missions. Scroll Backbling. Contains techniques. Yeah, we're going for a loot shot here. That didn't quite work out. That was a mistake. That's alright. I make mistakes from time to time. There's Brutus's Basin. I wonder what they're going to do with that before the season's end. Alright, getting down here. Do a little fancy build to get the loot drop. Let's see what's inside here. Anything good, I hope? Help Pops Freddy Fazbear. I'm just kidding. And that's good. What do we got? A purple rubber action shotgun. I'll take that. Alright, back to EpicGames.com. We're learning about the Naruto stuff in the item shop. Naruto pickaxes. Black Ops sword pickaxe. A sword used by the Black Ops. Kunai pickaxe. With black variant style. A sharp weapon. Fingered by the Shinobi. Snake sword. Sasuke's beloved sword. Hidan Sith. The Sith of choice for curse rituals. Naruto glider and emotes. There's so much stuff in the item shop. It's pretty insane. But we've been waiting a long time for this, right? We finally got the payoff. And I suspect this will be in the item shop for the duration of this Naruto event. Kurama glider. A fearsome nine-tailed beast sealed inside Naruto Uzumaki. Comes with a shinobi team loading screen. Remember guys, teamwork makes the dream work. Summoning Jutsu Emote. Did you remember the form of the Diamond Big Emote. Treat yourself to a little shinobi snack. And there's my emoticon from Season 8, Chapter 1. And it looks like I've been keeping the peace. Got my bounty and my first elimination of the game. Players will have the opportunity to pick up these items in bundles. The Naruto and Kakashi bundle includes Naruto Uzumaki outfit with 7th Hokage variant style, scroll back bling, Kakashi Hatake with Black Ops Kakashi variant style, Pakun back bling, and the pizza eating jutsu loading screen. Perfecting the art of pizza eating requires discipline. Art by Studio Perot. I love a good pie. The Sasuke and Sakura bundle includes Sasuke Uchiha with the Sword of Kusanagi pickaxe, Demon Wing Shuriken back one, Snake Sword pickaxe, Sakura Haruno with Sakura Uchiha dragon style, Hidden Leaf back bling, and the team 7 loading screen. Ready for an A rank mission? All the time. And finally the Shinobi gear bundle includes ramen break emote, summoning jutsu emote, kunai pickaxe, black ops sword pickaxe, and hidan sith pickaxe. Now I don't know too much about Naruto, but I am going to pick up the ramen break emote because I do love ramen. The fun with Naruto doesn't stop here. Be authentic with a paper bomb kunai. Wander around the hidden leaf village. Meet Kakashi 
make your own mini team seven and challenge yourself in the Nindo community battle. So I did pick up a paper bomb kunai last night when I was playing with Ember. I threw it down on a different rocket launcher. The deal with that weapon is you throw it, it sticks to something, and it counts down for three and then explodes. I don't think that would be too effective in my hands. A rocket launcher, much more effective. Just a spoiler alert on my Ember Victory Royale. I'll probably narrate that this weekend. My Victory Royale comes by means of the rocket launcher. An explosive ending, if you will. Actually, it did to my opponent what everyone else does to me. They eliminated someone, and then three seconds later, I exploded them with the rocket launcher. That happens to me all the time. I get into this fierce battle, I'm all excited that I won, and then someone blows me up with a rocket two seconds later. Does that happen to you guys? It's kind of a drag. Complete Kakashi's missions to earn rewards. That's right, Kakashi, the NPC, is in the game right now. He is actually just north of Misty Meadows up on the hill. Oh, there's an opponent down there. Let's see if we can take him out. We're going to sneak down here real quick. We'll come back to Kakashi in a moment. Let me just take out this opponent. They think they're hiding behind those washer and dryers. I'm going to get the jump on him now. Check this out. Got him. Sorry about that, buddy. Looks like, Cluck, you are out of the game. Alright, complete Kakashi's missions to earn rewards. The glue that holds Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke together. The copy ninja himself, Kakashi Hatake, has covertly placed himself on the island, ready to set you up with ninja-themed quests. Don't worry if you're unable to approach him right away. He'll be around for the whole rest of the season, and like I said, he is just north of Misty Meadows, on the hillside, just south of where Hunter's Haven used to be, if you can figure that out. Paper Bomb Kunai. If you want to be Splendid Shinobi, you need the right ninja tools. Until the end of the season, you will be able to find Paper Bomb Kunai in the game, as a new weapon to throw at your opponents. Visit Kakashi to get your hands on this formidable weapon, or find them in chests and loot llamas. In the game I played last night, they were just lying around the map, so they're pretty easy to find. Visit the Hidden Leaf Village. This is really fun. I tried this out. I didn't know what my objective was. I'm glad that you don't have to do those quests to do the rewards. Not a big fan of parkour. You are invited to explore Kono Hakakure. The Hidden Leaf Village. It is really awesome. I'll go on record saying that. Visit iconic locations such as the Hokage Residences and Ichidaku in the Naruto Featured Hub. When you're ready to explore more, find Naruto in front of the Hokage Residence. We will guide you to the Hidden Leaf Village Adventure Map. Excuse me while I fight this guy real quick. Just knock him off his perch. Ooh, this guy came up on me. Too. Got him. Dropped some sweet legendary weapons, too. And check that out. There's only one more player left in the game. They're up on the hillside there. We're going to sneak up on him. The Hidden Leaf Village adventure map will fully immerse you in the Naruto universe, giving you the chance to fulfill your ninja fantasy and walk in the shoes of a Hidden Leaf resident. Just shooting at this guy. I don't think I'm going to take him out from this distance. He's building faster than I can shoot. Complete quests to unlock even more breathtaking iconic locations, such as the Final Valley and the Chunin Exam Arena. So that's what those quests get you. They get you more areas to explore. Alright, this game's going to come to a close pretty soon. I'm not sure why he's breaking through his own armor. It's kind of got core for the Victory Royale. It was my second Victory Royale this past Sunday. Stay tuned for the Cuddle Team Leader Victory Royale, coming up maybe tomorrow or the next day. And I 
finally got some rewards from the Refura Friend program. Miridescent Wrap. Pretty cool, huh? Part of the Hollow Traffic set. See what they did there? Flare Fair. The meter is stunning. That's a pretty cool glider. And finally, Drive Shaft. Wield the Power Steering. Looks kind of like Cabby's harvesting tool, doesn't it? But that's not all. Fortnite crew rewards. The Burning Wolf Shadow Style. The legend is nightmarish. The reality, worse. Chaos Origins Shadow Style. He's a mad, 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 mad scientist. And finally, Sierra Gold Style. Avenging her past from the shadows. It's a pretty crazy looking helmet, right? And don't forget to support a creator, J-I-K-K-Y-S-E-F. That spells Jakey Seth. That's me, by the way. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a great fortnight.